Today, we will talk about bioremediation. Bioremediation is a branch of biotechnology that uses living organisms, like microbes and bacteria, to remove contaminants, pollutants, and toxins from soil, water, and other environments. It's like using natural cleaners to get rid of harmful substances. Bioremediation works by stimulating the growth of certain microbes that use contaminants like oil, solvents, and pesticides for food and energy. These microbes convert contaminants into water and harmless gases. It also relies on the right temperature, nutrients, and food for microbes to thrive and may be done on-site or away from the contamination. Bioremediation has several advantages over other cleanup methods. It minimizes damage to ecosystems, creates few harmful byproducts, and is cheaper because it doesn't require significant equipment or labor. The United States EPA has brought bioremediation activities to a total of 1,507 sites. An example of bioremediation is the cleanup of the Exxon Valdez oil spill in 1989. More than 100,000 pounds of fertilizer was applied over 2,000 applications to the affected areas, and by mid-1992, the cleanup was considered complete, degrading nearly all the oil compounds. In a sense, yes. Composting can be seen as a form of bioremediation because it converts food waste into usable soil, reducing the burden on landfills. Microremediation is a form of bioremediation that relies on fungi instead of bacteria or other microbes to decontaminate affected areas. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Bioremediation uses living organisms to remove contaminants from soil, water, and other environments. 2. It is used to clean up oil spills and contaminated groundwater. 3. Bioremediation may be done on site or away from the contamination. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.